Let me show you how you can use the Codex CLI tool, but with a local LLM. And to do that, we're going to utilize Olama. You want to head over to olama.com and then download the installer and install it on your system. Once it's finished installing, you should be able to open up inside of the terminal and run the Olama command, which should show all of the functions that you can use with the tool. Now, if we go back to the Olama website and then go to models, we then want to select tools so that we only show the ones that are available with tools. Now, just for comparison's sake, I'm going to use the Mistral small model. And over here, on the right, we have this command olama run mistral small. We actually don't want to copy the whole command. We just want to copy the model name, which is mistral dash small. So I'm going to highlight it and then hit control C on my keyboard. Then let's go back to our terminal and type olama pull and then paste in that model name. Now this is going to download that model to your machine. And you can see if you click on this drop down that this model is 14 gigabytes large. So I just want you to be aware of that when you're downloading these models. These models also take up a lot of resources, so they might be pretty slow when we run them. But once you have this command, written out, go ahead and hit enter and it'll start downloading. Once it's completely finished downloading, we can type in Olama serve and it will start up Olama and allow us to communicate with it. Now, if you do get this bind error, it's because we are already running Olama. If you just installed it, it automatically runs Olama. To quit out of it, we can come down here to the bottom right, click on the carrot button and then find the icon, the llama icon, right click it and click quit Olama. Now we should be able to run that command again and it will successfully run. Now let's go back to our other terminal window and we only need to run one command. That command is codex dash dash provider and then Olama. What we're doing here is we're using the provider flag and changing our provider from OpenAI to using Olama. Now once we hit enter, we come into the codex CLI and we can switch models to the model that we just downloaded. To check out which models we have downloaded locally, we can type in forward slash model and then hit enter. And now we get a list of all of the models that we have. So Mistral dash small latest is the one that I just downloaded. So I'm going to select it. And now let's just ask it what's in this project. Now it's going to take some time because my computer isn't the fastest thing in the world. And it sounds like a fighter jet right now, but I'll let you know what it comes up with once it's done. Okay, now that it's completed, it gives me a layout of the project, and then it tells me this project appears to be a web application, possibly built with Vue or React for the front end and Node.js for the back end. Here are some key observations, and then it just tells me about this. Now, this is a Hangman application. You're supposed to be able to play Hangman on the web, and it even tells me down here, but it doesn't cover every detail. But now you can see that it runs locally. I mean, we're directly running the model on our machine, and we're getting response back. So instead of using any of the open AI models, this is a completely free process that allows you to use codecs, but just on your local system. In fact, this is even offline. You could use this anywhere. And with that, that is how you run a local LLM inside of codecs.